Okay. Um, I know um, Jeff Berlin has been talking a lot about uh, sight reading on the forum, and I just wanted to add my pound of flesh to this. Um, Jeff's a lot more qualified than me, but I think I've got something to say. So, um, my main gripe is when I see people reading, bass players reading, they seem to <coughs> avoid the open strings, which I find really strange. Um, when you're sight reading, open strings are vital. They're good reference points, they get you out of trouble. Um, so, I just wanted to chat a little bit about that, maybe play a few bars of a song just to show how I would use open strings. Um, most songs you're going to play written, the bass line is going to be down here. It's a wonderful, magical place. You've got four, you've got four frets you can reach with your fingers. You can shift your position a little bit, but you've also got the open strings. So there's, um, you know, you can reach a lot of notes, basically. So just trying to position myself so you can see here. Um, so getting used to being able to use those open strings is, is vital. Gets you out of a lot of trouble. If you're up here, you know, then obviously maybe the mu music moving down here, you've got open strings, it can give you a reference point. What you don't want to do is start looking away from the music and look at your bass, because then when you look back at the music, you've forgotten where you are, and you're in a whole mess of trouble. So, um, I've just been looking at this tune. I haven't picked it because it's um, easy, it's not, it's bloody difficult. Um, James Jameson, I'm going to make you love me. Uh, it's in the key of G, and it goes to B flat. But, there's a lot of open strings there you can use and it can get you through the song and you listen to it, you know, you know that James Jameson was using those open strings. Uh, so, um, if I had better video uh, facilities I could show you the notes, but I'm, I'm basically just going to play through the first few bars and explain them. Okay, so this starts off a lovely intro. Verse starts back on the G. So you've got, bear with me, I'm going to need my glasses for this. You've got a G followed by an A. Okay, it sounds great using that open A. that opening four bars there okay uh, fifth bar there one two three fourth bar sorry followed by a D you're heading back down the bottom open D E and you're back down the, you're back down the, uh, the bottom there So apart from a little jump up to here, I managed to play everything down here, and I'm using those A's, I'm using the D's. Even when I jumped up here on that fourth bar of the verse, I was on the D there. Jumps up to a high D to an E. Then drops down to a low, to a, to a, a D. Uh, it's a lot easier just to use the open string. Brings you back to the G. On the G you've got a this tune um, without having to move my hand which is vital if somebody gave this to me on a gig 
<laughs> I don't want to be looking at my base. I really don't, because I'm going to lose where I am. Um, so uh, that's my pound of flesh. Think about this bottom end of the base. Think about those open strings. They'll save your butt on a million occasions. Okay, uh, Position playing, even when you're playing up here, those open strings are going to come into play. But let's face it, we're bass players. When we're on a gig and we're reading music, it's going to be down here. Use the open strings. Okay, that's my pound of flesh.